How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we have a new battle with the Lucario team, so hopefully it goes well. If you want to try the team out, use the code at top right corner of the screen. There's also a copy and paste of the team in the description down below. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And with that being said, let's jump into the team preview. Okay, today we've got a battle versus Chuchi. They're actually a randomer. Um, sometimes I like to just battle a randomer every now and then just to see what kind of wacky stuff we're going to see. And they've got a pretty cool looking team, you know. They've got the Leafeon, they've got the Lycanroc, Dusk, Spiritomb's nice to see, Honchkrow as well, uh, the Gengar and the Gastron as well looking absolutely fine over there. Got to be honest with you. So uh, it's looking like Lucario might do some good work this game. Um, Lycanroc, of course, being hurt by the close combat and it was being resistant to its stab. Um, close combat will obviously hurt. Uh, Quagsire is probably going to have to deal with the, the, the Lycan Rock, to be honest with you, unless it trash flies into, into to a type where Extreme Speed can hit it for neutral. Um, but I'm looking at this spread and I'm thinking Armor Rouge might do some decent work here as well. Choice uh, It's a Salt Vest, so it's going to be able to eat up hits from the likes of the Gengar, the Gastrodon, um, the Leafeon as well. We'll be able to eat a hit from that, no problem there. Um, I'm thinking we leave with Tyranitar, get the Stealth Rocks up straight away, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I can't believe Tyranitar is UU, man. Oh, how the Titans have fallen. And the battle begins, so Chuchi over there is going to lead off with whatever that is, which is the Spiritomb. Cool, Spiritomb's coming in, so we're going to lead off with Tyranitar. Now, I'm fully expecting this thing to burn us, but looking at the rest of their team, I don't think we really need Tyranitar to do too much other than, like, setting up Stealth Rocks and stuff. Uh, no, it'll probably be pretty good against the likes of the, um, the Gengar, actually, to be honest with you. So I might, uh, unless Gengar's packing Will-O-Wisp, but that, that's always a possibility. But at the same time... At the same time, even if we're burned, Crunch is still going to like 2-hit KO the Gengar anyway, so it's not a big deal. So let's go for a Stealth Frog real quick and just get them on the field. There we go, get the Stealth Frogs up, nice and jovely, nice and jovely. That <laughs> lovely jovely, that, that expression on Spiritomb's face, what is going on there? As they do go for the Will-O-Wisp, which is of course going to burn Tyranitar, which is unfortunate, but it's fine. It's absolutely fine. So Tyranitar is sitting over there. Doing his thing, all burnt and stuff, but the Spiritomb's expression on his face has just got me... <laughs> it's just got me. What is it doing? It's like in a constant state of shock. <laughs> it's, what on earth? Um, so what I'm going to do now is, expecting them to either switch or stay in, one of the two. I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave just to get the Paralysis off. Um, if they go into Gastron, then that's fine. If they go into something like the Lycan Rock, that's even better. So let's see what they do here. So they're going to go into whatever that is, which is, of course, the Gastron. So Gastron comes in. That's going to wall us pretty well. Um, obviously, Stone's going to dig in. Thunder Wave isn't going to affect it. That's absolutely fine. Uh, what we can do now is we can go straight into Armor Rouge and fire off an Energy Ball. And the great thing about Energy Ball is that it's going to hurt something. Um, Leafeon, I'll do some chip damage, which will be nice. Honchkrow, I'll do some chip damage, which will be nice. All that wonderful stuff. So I think what we do here is we go straight into the Armor Rouge. So we'll let the burn and the stuff like that take its effect. And then we'll go ahead and switch out into... Oh, no, we could go into Serena. Serena's probably a better on. Power Whip, Power Whip will hurt everything on the team pretty hard. Um, yeah, let's go Serena. Serena's a better one. I think Serena's a better one because Gastron's got a pretty good special bulk. And also, I don't want to take unnecessarily damage on my Armor Rouge. Um, whereas uh, Serena's main purpose is going to be taking on this, um, this Gastron right now. So they do go for the Muddy Water. Nice bit of damage output for them. It's not going to do too much damage to Serena, though. Um, as we can just fire off a Power Whip now. Although, I'm, I'm saying that uh, they are definitely going to switch right now. So we could just go for a U-turn. Um, I think I will go for a U-turn, to be honest with you. I'm fully expecting them to switch out here. There's no way they leave a Gastrodon in against the Serena. So they are going to withdraw the Gastrodon. And what are they going to go into? Gengar? Or whatever that is. Whatever that is. The Leafeon comes in. That's going to get hurt by the U-turn pretty decently as well, which is great. So we'll go for a U-turn real quick. That's going to get some nice chip damage off on the uh, Leafeon, which is great. We get a crit, which is really nice. And that's going to sting for the opponent and later on down the line. And um, when this Leafeon has not enough, got, not got enough HP. So, um, what we can do now is we can go Armor Rouge, um, fire off an Armor Cannon. I think Armor Cannon is probably a great play. Because that's going to hurt everything. Everything. Because if they bring in the Gastron, we just fire off an Energy Ball. Yeah, let's, get, let's do that. Let's, get, let's, let's go ahead and do that. So, we'll go into Cinders real quick. The Armor Rouge. There we go. We get a free switch in, which is great. We're going to get buffed by the Sandstorm a little bit, which is unfortunate. Tyranitar just kind of... Leaving his mark on everyone on the field. Um, and we just go straight for an armor, uh, armor cannon here. Um, I think that's probably the best thing to do. They go for a leech seed just as a last ditch effort. They know they can't really switch anything into an armor cannon. As Armoruge is going to go ahead and fire off said armor cannon at this Leafeon's face. And just send it to the Never Realm. 
where it will forever be dead. We faced a lot of Leafeons recently. I'm seeing a trend. There was the Evolution team with the Leafeon. And there was another team a little while back that had a shiny Leafeon, which I said was nice. And people were like, did you really just say Leafeon shiny was nice? <laughs> like, yeah, shut up. Leave me alone. It looks better than the original. That's all I'll say. So Sandstorm is going to wear off. And we're going to see a switch out into something else. In comes whatever that is. So that is, of course, going to be the Honchcrow. The Honchcrow comes in. Obviously, it can fire off Sucker Punch and stuff like that, which is going to be pretty hurtful to our Armor Rouge. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my... Um, I don't want to go into Salamence. Salamence would be nice for the Intimidate, and then we can fire off an Outrage. Um, but we do... All right, I need to mark off that we've knocked out Leafeon as well. I think the play here is expecting a Sucker Punch. We should be able to get a free switch in. I think the play here is to go Tyranitar, because I know this thing doesn't get Sucker Punch this generation, which is amazing for us. So we'll go into Tyranitar real quick and see how that goes for us. Honchkrow is looking amazing. And I love the way like, I love the way the Pokemon do their little roars and stuff like that. So Honchkrow is looking pretty right there. Um, goes for a Sucker Punch. Obviously, it fails. We're not going to let that happen to our poor Armour Rouge. There's no way about that. Um, because then, the, you, know, you know what happens. This thing gets the KO. It gets the Moxie Boost. And then we're going to have a bad time. We don't want a bad time. We want a good time. We always want a good time. Party animals. Stuff like that. Anyway. Um, so Tyranitar's in. I see no reason not to go for a Stone Edge here. Although I am kind of anticipating a switch here into the um, into the Gastron. I don't think Honchkrow gets U-Turn. In fact, I know it doesn't get U-Turn. I'm pretty sure anyway. Uh, so we'll go into Serena real quick and just uh, see how that goes. So we actually went first, which tells me they haven't switched out. Which tells me they might have U-Turn. I'm pretty sure it doesn't get U-Turn, but... I could be wrong here. I could be wrong. <laughs> they do. Honchkrow gets U-turn this game. I did not know that. That's crazy. So you honchkrow has got some utility now. That's pretty awesome, actually. I might have to use a Honchkrow at some point. I might have to use a Honchkrow at some point. All right. In comes whatever that is. Probably the Lycanroc Dusk. It's the Gengar, and he's floating. It's the floating Gengar. I've only seen this once before. That's awesome. I love it. I don't know why they randomly float like that, because Serena is obviously not a big Pokemon, and Serena isn't floating itself. So I'm wondering what prompts the floatiness because obviously Charizard sometimes stands and sometimes flies. And a lot of Pokemon are like that. But a Gengar is a weird one to see because it doesn't even get Levitate anymore. Um, I'm going to go for the U-turn just because I, I don't have a good switch. I do have a good switch. I've got Tyranitar right here. I've got Tyranitar right here waiting to come in. So we'll go into Tyranitar real quick. We are specially defensive, so we should be able to take a hit from this thing. No problems whatsoever. Um, Gengar goes for a Venus Shock. Which is not going to hurt us at all. It actually does minimal damage, which is amazing. Um, as now, we can probably expect a Focus Blast. Or a switch into the Gastrodon. One of the two. One of the two. So, that's a couple of things we could do here. We could sit in and take our... We could sit here and try and take on the Focus Blast. I think we can definitely take it. Go for a Crunch, get the KO from here. Um, or we just anticipate the switch into the Gastron right now and we switch into our Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge is going to be able to take a Focus Blast, no problem, and can also tackle the Gastron on. And they might think we made a bad switch, but they're going to get hit in the face with an Energy Ball. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So they did not switch out, which tells me they have gone for a Focus Blast here or something along those lines, maybe a Dazzling Gleam. Um, I don't know. Armor Rouge comes in. They go for an Energy Ball. That's also an option. We're going to eat that up like it's nothing. And they're probably thinking that to themselves. Right, okay, we just have to hit this thing with a Shadow Ball, right? Well, no, I'm Assault Vest. I'm definitely taking that Shadow Ball, no problem. I am definitely taking that Shadow Ball, especially considering you're not Life Orb, you're not Choice. So I'm going to go for a Psychic real quick and just see how much damage we're going to do here. They are going to go for a Hex. So they're a Hex set, which isn't going to get the KO. Shadow Ball would have got the KO, though. Oh, they are Life Orb, that's why. They are Life Orb, I failed to see that earlier, so... We do live the Hex, which is amazing. If they had Shadow Ball, that would have KO'd. Gengar is just once again proving how powerful it is. Um, but because they had Hex, we are able to live that. And the Sandstorm is finally going to subside, which means now we're not going to get buffed by the Sandstorm and faint. Okay, in comes whatever that is. I think that's the Gastrodon. No, it's the Honchkrow. Honchkrow comes in. Um, we don't want to give the Honchkrow a Moxie Boost. We really don't want to give it a Moxie Boost. Um, to be honest with you, I don't really know what to do here. Um... We could go into Lucario and go for a nice and powerful extreme speed. Eh, that's an option. It's an option. Um, considering they're probably going to go for a Sucker Punch here, I'm just going to switch out into Salamance, get the Intimidate off. Um, they might go for a U-turn here, expecting a switch. If they do that, that's kudos to them. That's a better play on their behalf. 
Um, we get the Intimidate off, which is nice. They go for a Night Slash, obviously expecting that switch. They get a crit as well, which is unfortunate, um, because it means now we're probably going to die to a Sucker Punch. But I'm going to go for the Outrage anyway. There we go, we go for an Outrage. They didn't go for a Sucker Punch because they're probably expecting us to switch out again after the crit from the Night Slash, but nope, we're not. We're just going to go ahead and go straight for an Outrage. I wasn't really too bothered about the Honchko anyway because, to be honest with you, we've got we've got Quagsire in the back with Unaware, um, and he's, he's just not bothered about the Moxie Boost from the Honchko, so I wasn't too worried about it, to be honest with you. Okay, in comes whatever that is, which is going to be the Lycanroc, right? No, it's the Spiritomb. So Spiritomb's going to come in. Spiritomb's going to come in, and he's not going to appreciate the... Uh, oh, his, his expression's normal now. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, Spirit Tomb's not going to appreciate an Outrage, that's for sure. So, we go for an Outrage real quick. Um, it's a shame we're not Moxie, but here we are. Not going to appreciate that whatsoever, as it does pop a berry. What kind of berry have we got here? Citrus Berry? Lychee Berry? A Wiki Berry, whatever they're called. No, it's a Citrus Berry. Okay, cool. So, we are confused, which means we can switch out, which is great. Um, as they are going to go for a Will Wisp and miss. Ooh, Hax is not on their side. I mean, well, it is, because they got the Night Slash crit. <laughs> you know, so I'm going to go for another Outrage here. Um, they might go for a Sucker Punch. We're going to break through Confusion. We don't break through Confusion, unfortunately. Hax is on my opponent's side today as they're able to go for a Dark Pulse now and finish us off. So Salamance goes down, which is unfortunate. We lost Salamance, but he did do a lot of work. He put in the work there. He nearly take KO'd the Spirit Tomb. He KO'd the Honch Crow. He, did, he, he put in work. Let's be real. So this thing doesn't have Sucker Punch. I know it doesn't have Sucker Punch, otherwise it would have gone for the Sucker Punch. Um, so what we can do is we can bring in the Queenly Majesty, the Serena, get off a nice and powerful power power whip. So we're going to Serena real quick. There we go. Nice and shiny. I love shiny Serena. It's so cool. We'll go for a power whip. It should KO the Spirit Tomb. It should KO the Gastrodon. They do have Sucker Punch, but we have Queenly Majesty, and you cannot use that against us. As we go for a power whip, that's going to KO the Spirit Tomb, no problem. So yeah, that's one neat thing about Serena is it's immune to um, priority moves. Uh, which makes it a pretty good a pretty good check to the normal extreme speed Dragonite. Although that normally has Ice Spinner, so that's not really the best. Okay, in comes whatever that is. Probably the Lycanroc. There we go. We're finally seeing the Lycanroc, which is awesome. Um, I really like Lycanroc Dusk, by the way. It's so cool. So, um, we lost Armor Rouge. No, we haven't. It's still there. Um, we don't want to lose this thing. So, I don't think we need... I think we're just going to Quagsire, right? I don't think I think we need the uh, Queenly Majesty for right. I, I I know what to do here. We'll go with Quagsire. We're going Quagsire. I'm not thinking about it. Just go Quagsire. Come on, Jack. Just just stick to it. Stick to it. So the Lycan Rocks are gonna get all red eyed over there. As we're gonna go into Quagsire, they're gonna go for a Crunch. That would have definitely KO the Queenly Majesty. Obviously, a Cell Rock wasn't an option because of the Queenly Majesty. Um, so they had to go for their other Pokemon moves, uh, which is going to be Crunch in this instance. Does a decent chunk of damage to the uh, Quagsire as well, which is pretty awesome. We'll go for an Earthquake real quick. They are going to withdraw. They are going to withdraw, which is great. Um, they're going to go into the Gastrodon, which is amazing for us anyway. Um, as uh, we go for an EQ, and that's going to get some nice bit of chip damage on from the Gastrodon. Nice bit of chip damage. Nice bit of chip damage. So Quagsire is looking pretty good right now. As long as we have Quagsire, that Lycan Rock is dead. Dead meat. Dog meat. <laughs> Dog meat. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to sack off my Armor Rouge. That gives us a free switch in Serena, and then we can go for a Power Whip. There we go. Going to withdraw Quagsire real quick. And we're going to go into our Armor Rouge. Just let it go down, because we don't need it anymore. We, we really don't need it anymore. As they go for an Earth Power, that's obviously going to get the KO. And now we kind of have to rely on one thing in particular going down. We have to rely... On the um, we have to rely on the power whip hitting <laughs> which is always fun always fun right so we'll go into Queenly Majesty over here we'll go into the Majestic the Serena and we'll try our best to hit this power whip but Hax has not been on my side this game it's been on my opponent's side a bit so I'm expecting this to miss but I'm gonna go for it anyway because there's no other option then we do hit as we're able to get the KO on the Gastrodon nice and powerfully, that's amazing. So Gastrodon goes down. There we go. And we're getting to the point where, you know, randomers like to DC. So I am expecting a DC here, but at the same time, you never know. They might stay in and finish in it. And if they do stay in and finish in it, this is probably one of the best randomers I've ever faced. So we'll go for a Power Whip, let ourselves go down here. And um, there's no reason for Serena to be around anymore. It can't do anything against this Lycan Rock. They are going to Terrestrialize, which is pretty cool. Uh, what type are they going to terrestrialize into? That is the real question. That is the real question right there. They're going to go into a fighting type. Interesting. So fighting type, Lycanroc Dusk. 
good to see. Let's see how much damage they're doing here. They go for a crunch. They probably have close combat then if they're fighting type, which makes sense because close combat's a pretty good move to have on Lycanroc. To be honest with you, so. um, Lycanroc is looking pretty right now. Uh, what we can do now is we can go into Lucario if we want to. Um, I might go into Lucario just, just, just to see um, if we can do this. So I'm going to Lucario real quick. There we go. And I'm going to Terrestrialize into a normal type and we're going to go for the extreme speed and see if we can get a KO here. We'll see if we can get the KO because they're not a rock type anymore. They're now a fighting type. So that means we're neutral against it. And I said at the start of the video, I said, unless, of course, one of the other Pokemon that's uh, resistant to extreme speed terrestrializes into a, uh, a move that's into a type that's neutral to normal, Lucario is not going to do anything. But he is going to do something. And he's going to get the KO, right? I believe in you. Nearly. Nearly gets the KO. Just barely gets the KO. No KO as they go for a drill run, and that is unfortunately not going to KO us. They didn't want to go for the. Well, I don't know why they didn't go for the close combat, to be honest with you, but, you know, here we go. Maybe they don't have it. Maybe they're just terrifying for the sake of it. So we'll go for an extreme speed again, and Lucario is going to finish up the game one more time for us. So that's absolutely amazing. That's, that's two games in a row Lucario's finished up the game, but I believe Serena. I believe Serena deserves the spot on the thumbnail for this, this game, to be honest with you. So. That's going to be the end of the game. That's a good good game from a randomer, you know? Kudos to the randomer. They brought a pretty solid team. A really cool looking team. They didn't DC. I didn't DC, which is shocking because my internet's trash at the moment. And that was a really fun game. So thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.